Ladies and gentlemen, Fight Bananas presents Coffee and KO's podcast. We're crazy about fights and jacked on caffeine. What is up, everybody? Zach here with Steve and Carrie, and we are here to break down another fabulous fight between Benil Dariush and Diego Ferreira. And uh, yeah, this is going to be another good one. Steve, you picked this one specifically to break down on the Fight Bananas channel because your man, Benil Dariush, is back in the octagon. Yep, that's a that's a disclaimer to everyone. Benil Dariush, he is on my guy's list. Um, just been a huge fan of him for as long as I can remember watching UFC. Just such like an average looking guy, but for some reason he's just also black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, crazy viral knockouts his last two fights. Like he just brings it all, but you never really expect it from him. Um, but he, he does take on a killer in Diego Ferreira. This is going to be really difficult. I feel like Ferreira is just like a guy that's kind of like flown under the radar, at least from my point of view. Kind of been sitting at the number nine ranking, and he, he hasn't lost in a long time. He's on a six-fight win streak. Um, I looked into his background. Obviously, he's very BJJ heavy. He's actually a third-degree black belt. Um, I watched a few of his fights. Brings a ton of forward pressure. Uh, his striking is actually not that bad. He can get you to the ground, and if he gets you to the ground, either he'll submit you or his ground and pound is actually very impressive too. So he's going to be really, really tough for my guy, Benil Dariush. And I'm kind of at a standstill to pick him. It's minus 110 both ways. Um, I, I will say the advantage that Dariush is going to have is from the striking point of view. Um, he's just more of like a versatile striker. I think he'll be able to kind of keep away from Fenerda. But if it goes to the ground, that's where I'm a little bit nervous. Um, so, But the disclaimers out there, Dariush is my guy. I am going to take him, and I will go by decision. Actually, before so before we started recording this, I was kind of leading towards Ferreira, but I look at Benil Dariush's last. I mean, he's on he's on a six fight win streak, and I'm looking at his competition: Holtzman, close, Camacho is eh, but Drew Dober is really good, Tiago Moises very good, and then you look at Ferreira, and I mean, his last win is Anthony Pettis, very very impressive. But other than that, I'm not too too impressed by any of those other guys. The only thing is Anthony Pettis is an elite striker and he did take him down and submit him rear naked choke. Um, I'm actually going to go with Dariush too. After looking at who, who Dariush has fought and kind of comparing the two, I do like Dariush here. I think he's a little bit longer of a fighter too. He can keep the distance, uh, put together some pretty good combos. I'm going to go dip Dariush here. I'm going to go knockout again. He's on a knockdown. He's on a knockout uh, spree here with Scott Holtzman and close. And Holtzman is a dog, man. Like Scott Holtzman is a guy that does not get knocked out often. And to knock him out is very impressive. And Dariush is decent on the ground. He's got a triangle uh, arm bar against Drew Dober. So, I mean, Dariush to me, I think that he's a little bit more well-rounded. And, you know, I think that he'll be able to hold his own. And if he utilizes the reach, I like Dariush in this, actually. Dude, Dariush, so he has a black belt. And he also, like, before uh, the UFC, he competed in, like, a bunch of, like, global tournaments and, and won a few of them. Like, he's actually a really good BJJ fighter as well. Um, just sometimes you don't see it because he's knocking the guy out in round one or two. And then also, we just kind of mentioned it before this, but Dariush and Ferreira fought back in 2014, and Dariush took that one by unanimous decision. So I know it's seven years later, but Ferreira's, like, 36 years old. Dariush only 31. I like Dariush here. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Actually, I was after doing a little bit more research. I, I'm gonna go with Dariush on this one. Uh, you know, I, I coming into this, I thought maybe Ferreira would come out, you know, speeding out of the gate like a Ferrari and ride this one out. Uh, after listening to you guys, I don't know. You got me leaning towards Dariush, but how can you ignore a Ferrari, All right? So I'm, I'm gonna go against you guys. I'm, I'm gonna say uh, Ferreira's gonna ride this one out like a Ferrari. He's gonna take the decision. I like it. All right. That's going to do it, guys, for the Coffee and Chaos crew breaking down uh, Benil Dariush and Diego Ferreira. You can catch us on all social media at Coffee and Chaos 1. We also are on YouTube, Coffee and Chaos. You will find us every Saturday on the Fight Bananas YouTube channel breaking down every UFC event, not just pay-per-views, every UFC event. So make sure you guys go check that out. Give us five-star ratings, thumbs up, all the good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time.